Okay, welcome guys to another episode. Um, the first episode, by the way, of Let's Play the Settler 7 Paths to a Kingdom. Um, if you haven't subscribed at YouTube or Twitch, please do that. Also follow us on Facebook, Twitter and our Steam group. And have a look at our website downnightgaming.com. So if you want to see more of this, please click the like button. Uh, so we know you guys liked it and you want to see more of it um, If you have any tips or suggestions Please leave it in the comment section on a YouTube or a Facebook or open a discussion on our steam group um, Hello Bitshark, <laughs> you're uh, <laughs> very early um, Good I got the biggest uh, tournament in esports live, but I need to go home to do it uh, Okay, so uh, are you home or not? Okay, I am um, not fully understand it. So uh, I want to thank you guys uh, for watching uh, this stream. Um, it's very busy uh, this early morning, by the way. So that's uh, very nice. Um, that we are not alone. Um, some kind of reason my uh, screen is not capturing. Um, I hope it's gonna capture. Is it capturing or not? is saying something oh no it's uh, it's showing yes so um, um, I want to thank you guys in advance for uh, watching this stream slash video um, and hopefully everything is gonna work uh, as we wanted it to work um, the game until now is already a little bit slow so I'm gonna adjust it just before um, and I hope uh, it's gonna work properly um, as you can see it's now working on 40 frames per second the game is not totally optimized um, so I hope maybe um, sorry, uh, for more depths and contrast yeah and a little bit um, too bad uh, the game is in Dutch um, I hope it's um, understandable else I'm gonna explain it to you guys I'm halfway platinum I think you need 30,000 uh, ELO to be platinum uh, and I have 2,000 somewhere okay so um, you're uh, doing great in esports life um, um, bit shock very nice um, we're gonna play the campaign to start with um, as you can see I've played it already uh, before um, to be exact, I've played it almost, um, I guess, four or five times uh, uh, completely. Uh, but I think it's a very nice game. It's definitely the last uh, Settlers game they released. Yeah, there's Ontario, um, um, that sort of stuff. Um, but it's not a Settlers game, so it's a little bit weird. Um, so, I hope... Um, you're gonna uh, enjoy it, of course, and I'm gonna try to explain as much as I can. So, um, yeah, hopefully you guys uh, like it, of course. I was so close to be a mod in Critical Ops, but I uh, blew my cha uh, chance. Okay, so we're uh, gonna go to the start. Um, the movies are in, uh, uh, in English, so that's nice. Um, I'm not gonna talk when there is a cutscene. There it is. Many ages ago, the most prized possession in the kingdom of Tundria was not land, nor livestock, nor gold, but the people's crown. A crown only awarded to those kings and queens who ruled their lands generously and kindly. But wars and greed had corrupted the hearts of many of its monarchs, leaving the crown without a worthy emissary. And so it was locked away, hidden, until one day a worthy new leader was to be found.
have sent for me, father? I have, my child. Come. Your greatest wish is about to come true. The kingdom of Tandria lies in disarray. King Baldurus has been exiled from his lands by Lord Wolverine and his Dark Knight Dracorian. Together they now seek rule over his kingdom. That is, if we let them. Zoe, this is the moment you have been waiting for. This is your chance to become queen. <laughs> Go to Awkward. Tandria and colonize it, and I shall crown you ruler of your own kingdom. I shall, father. I shall do as you wish. Desire, how wonderfully blinding you are. He is a very snake. And so, Zoe <laughs> took to Tandria to meet with an old friend and ally of her father's. He was to help her with the difficult task of colonizing the unruly kingdom of Tandria. So, that was the cutscene we uh, uh, have in the, in, in the start of the game. And there is a very big story after this, uh, um, um, in this campaign mode. Um, and I think it's very nice. And also, I love the graphics. Um, I love the cartoonish style. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit my style. And so it begins. That was what it was saying. Sorry, it's in Dutch. The rest is in English, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, a small village in Tenria. Mon Felden. It's a little bit more German or something like that. Welcome to Tandria, Princess Zoe. I have been eagerly awaiting your arrival. Then you must be Boz. My father spoke very highly of you. He said you know Tandria like the back of your hand. His Majesty is too kind, but indeed I do know a thing or two about these lands. Excellent. Then perhaps you can advise me on how to begin my conquest. I shall be at your service, my lady. Okay. I am always here to help you, Princess. Let us see if there are any useful resources around. Ha! We are lucky! There are large piles of stones and lots of trees nearby. This will give you an easy start with your first settlement. So we need to gather resources. Um, mine is some stone and some uh, trees, some logs. Uh, push the middle mouse button. And okay. Yes, I know. I'm gonna skip that. Oh, it's uh, inverted. It's a little bit weird, but okay. Um, so we have our objectives of, over here. Uh, you can see the mission board. Um, it's an overview. What does it say? Uh, yeah. Okay. So. Um, Move the camera around. That's a little bit what it's saying. Um, maybe this, yes. Zoom in, zoom Excellent. out. Okay, and that's what good we need to do. Means good overview. The key to success. Okay, so uh, now we need to uh, gather um, stone. Buzzing town with happy oh my god, that's way too much messages. But after Lord Wolverine sent Tandria into disarray, and expelled our beloved king. Many abandoned their villages in fear of looters and pillagers. Um, Princess uh, Zoe, yes, I suggest the right that button. you first rebuild this village and return Bonefelden to its former glory, as it was once under its king. Okay, he's done uh, talking, finally. So um, we do it this way. Um, at some point, you can uh, extend it. Go away with all those messages. Thank you very much. Uh, it's a little bit weird. Okay. Oh, but this is already away. Okay, so it's good enough. Um, 
uh, esports hype. <laughs> so, uh, Jacob, you're also uh, <laughs> waiting to uh, see another episode of Esports Live. Oh, and Bitchock, oh, and that uh, idiot Russell broke my arm in this big tournament. Now my attack and defense is down. Oh, it's not nice, uh, Bitchock. A little bit too bad that this happened. Um, so, now we created um, a hut. Now we can uh, create um, a stone worker, some sort of. Uh, sorry for translation, I need to translate it um, directly. As I see it, so it's a little bit hard uh, to say it uh, the correct way. Uh, maybe the correct uh, pronouncing is query. Also been used a lot. So now we have um, a stone query. Um, okay, this is uh, the speed. Where's my message board? It's not that. Okay, weird. It's also not the thing I'm looking for. I'm looking for the message board. I've there it is. So we need to gather two stones, um, but we need people together, or it's already gathering. Oh, it's already gathering. Okay, that's nice. Um, but if I'm not mistaken, do we need to build some people? Nope. No, it's only for emulation. It's a little bit a uh, long time ago I've played it, so that's um, <laughs> why I, it's uh, it's taking me a little bit longer time to um, figure it out how it has been. The game is um, fully released in 2010, by the way. It's the latest Settlers game. Um, they pronounced it, uh, or they. Um, Announced, I need to say, um, another Settlers game in 2016, 2015, it will, would be released in 2016. Then they um, they moved it, the release datum, to 2017, and after that they changed the name and the total gameplay. It wasn't uh, a Settlers game; it was more an yeah, MOBA game, some sort of that, and yeah, it was very weird. I've never played it, but I saw saw it. It wasn't a Settlers game. That's one thing for sure. So um, we have a couple of things. Um, they're they are only waiting. By the way, you can zoom in very very uh, far. So that's that's uh, very closely. So that's that's. <laughs> <laughs> Stay off your tits, woman. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> okay, so uh, we're gathering a stone at this moment, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it's taking a little bit longer. Great. Your stone cutters have gathered enough stones for the moment. Okay. Stones are very important resources, so always try to keep an eye on your stock. So we need to uh, create some houses, to residences. Living space for your settlers. So we can create uh, residences. Always keep in mind um, those blocks. There is uh, the place uh, and the space where you can build um, houses and uh, expansions, uh, some sort of. Always keep them um, green as much as you can. Just because, um, yeah, you can build more houses on, uh, on it um, without. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, I need to wait. Without, um, I need to build extra spaces and plots to uh, multiply it. So that's that's a little bit what I'm uh, trying to say to you guys. Um, so we need to wait until. One of those are going that way. Isn't it now taking a longer time or what is it? I guess. 
speeding up, but there's nobody walking to this way. It's a little bit weird. Because we need um, one stone and two planks, we got it. So, why? Oh, wasn't it connected? Oh, it's not connected for some kind of reason. Oh, that's weird. Okay, leave it. So, um, yeah. It's a very nice, um, it's a real-time strategy game, but it's a little bit different, uh, slightly different from the rest. Um, that's why, maybe, I guess I love it. Um, it's more a real-time strategy game and well early MOBA, something like that. You have mastered the first step in reconstructing Bonefelden. Living space as of now shall no longer be an issue for these villagers. We need to uh, create uh, planks at this moment. Need Go away. Planks. So, we need to do it by uh, creating a hut over here. Um, and I'm thinking of maybe creating it this way. Over here. I don't need to create any path, as um, I'm not mistaken. Um, then we're gonna create a warehouse, some sort of warehouse over here. Um, just because the warehouse you need to store every item, this is also a warehouse. Um, from the woodcutter. And if you get your um, sawmill and your woodcutter uh, together a little bit, um, then you have that it's more productive, else it needs to, yeah, placing, um, coming with resources every time, back and forth. So if you do it uh, the right way and placing it all a little bit together, it's working uh, a lot better. By the way, I don't have um, placed the music on the background. Uh, the music is very, very awesome. Um, I think it's very nice. Um, the only thing I don't like is um, I'm guessing that I'm getting a copyright strike or something like that on YouTube uh, with that music. Um, I know it's from the Settlers and it's from Ubisoft, but um, Ubisoft's... Uh, uses a lot copyright music so yeah it's not nice and definitely in open world games last time uh, a couple of months ago I've played uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands and yeah even in that game it's copyright with the music so yeah um, so we created um, the warehouse the woodcutter and uh, Sawmill, so uh, yeah, that's very nice. Excellent, you have successfully established plank production. Okay. Besides stones, planks are also extremely important for construction. Oh, we got a cutscene. Princess, I fear we are not alone. Ramirez, one of Lord Wolverine's minions, is hiding out in the area. What does he want? He most likely wants to cross our plans. Perhaps if we talk to him, we can come to an agreement. With all due respect, my lady, one cannot negotiate with criminals. Then what do you suggest? Action, my lady! It will speak louder than words. Then so be it. 
Okay. Take a look over there, princess. This is Ramirez's hideout. There we go. I suggest we surprise him and strike first. For that, we need an army. Don't dare to come closer, young princess, or I will crush you like a little bug. Okay. A bug. To build an army, you need food. Yes. That's one of the important so, things let us set over up here. a production line for bread that will prepare us for the next step. Um even with the food, the food needs to be placed on grassland. Um and it's a very very important that you hold enough space everywhere. So, I guess this is um the right way we do it this way and then we can directly place um, grain over here another one over here and we're doing a windmill over here um, we need a lot of food it's always everything's uh, about food we're now creating normal food by the way we also have uh, sausages, uh, but sausages is for training higher emulsion. Um, food is almost not uh, being used by other people. It doesn't uh, being used uh, in the woodcutter and that sort of stuff. It's only used for training emulsion. And a couple of special units, but yes. So that's where you need uh, food for. And they're saying that I need to place a uh, warehouse very close. So we can do it this way. And after this, we need um, a bakery. Because now we are getting... Uh, flour sacks but we yeah we don't have any baker in town yet uh, for creating oh sorry for that congratulations you have successfully established flour production yes that's now saying now, uh, we need to create to a bakery bread, you need a bakery so we're going to do that over now um they're going to use all this space for flour sacks uh, for uh, the grain uh, to be placed it's not only yes this 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 house but Great. as you can see now they need more space for it spread. so now we need to um, conquer the camp castle, but he alone is too weak to attack Ramirez's camp now we need to uh, click this button Use bread to hire mercenaries at my tavern and reinforce your general I will spend the required coins for you so this is our general um, and we can create uh, pioneers something like that is that the, the right word I hope it is um, so we need to um, create them um, but I'm a little bit thinking how to do it. Oh yes, that is. we need to do it in um, the cafe or what is it? Um, Herberg. Um, yeah, I don't know the exact word. So that's how we do it. We can create it over here. And let's create two. Yes, because they are with three persons. Um, you also need uh, money for it, coins. Let's create two more. I want to create two more. Hopefully it's better. Trying to have um, more people than uh, they are. They have, and it's of course not that hard. 
uh, because we yeah we just have enough uh, people and we have enough coins and that sort of stuff so yeah so they need to bring in now um, one normal food and one person uh, so we need to look closer at this point and it's saying that we need maybe building another house so we're gonna do that yeah maybe doing it this way it's good enough so let them build another house so we have a little bit room um, for more population bigger population and as you can see um, the settler 7 is all about um, a settled map it's um, it's limited in zones uh, so this is another zone you can see it can I zoom out a little bit further nope I can't yes so this is uh, what you can see this is our zone it's marked with a red surrounding and we need to um, attack this zone first and after that of course the castle um, that's what this game is all about but not every zone has the same resources um, as you directly can see this yellow zone has only um, trees and yeah maybe after it um, some animals wildlife in it for gathering food for a hunter but yeah that's the only thing that zone has so that's um, a little bit what I'm trying to say um, in the next yeah campaign uh, mission you can see that uh, zones are different uh, you can't place uh, a grain shed uh, not a grain shed on uh, only on grassland but not on desert lands and that sort of stuff so that's a little bit how it works um, so we created an army of six we're going against an army of three so we only have to walk to the border they're gonna do it together so I'm gonna follow it okay. closely follow it very nice by the way And they're gonna fight for us. We don't need to uh, walk way too far, just only to the until uh, the border. As you can see, they're coming and uh, spawning in um, to protect it. Battle stations! And this is how it works. Okay, so we defeated uh, them. Um, the general can't be defeated, so that's one thing. And they're gonna march to the fort over now. Um, now we're gonna do a couple of more things. We're gonna build a couple more pioneers um, because yeah, after this, it's now gonna do this. Um, if they're gonna attack us uh, in the meanwhile, we're doing this and we're gonna be defeated. Uh, we have the problem that um, yeah, we need to retreat and going back. Um, so that's a little bit how it works. It's um, uh, an RTS game, but with some uh, early MOBA, um, yeah, gameplay. Another nice thing is, um, if I'm not mistaken, this is gonna go all the way. It's been removed and that the sort of stuff. Victory is yours, but next time you shall not be so fortunate. Yeah, now it's all set um, in flames and burns to ashes. Oh, cutscene. 
Well done, my lady. You now have your first soldiers under contract, and I would say that your display of military swiftness was rather impressive. This will be a warning to Ramirez. What exactly is it that Ramirez and Lord Wolverine are fighting for? They are thieves and bandits. They want nothing less but to steal Tandria away from its people. It was them who drove the beloved King Baldurus from these lands. But I heard King Baldurus was a tyrant, that he was cruel and reckless to his people. Utter no such lies. His majesty was a kind and wise man, merely misunderstood by his people. Okay, so. You were successful. A little backstory. Um, so we're gonna continue uh, with the campaign. Um, oh, loading time. So, um, yeah. As you can see, it's. I think it's a very nice game. Um, a little bit less understood. Um, it's... Yeah, it's different from all the Settlers games, um, Settler, Settlers 5 and 6, um, I think it's also very nice. Um, but of course, yeah, Settlers 2 and 3 are, yeah, definitely 2 is the best uh, Settlers game there is. Um, but then again, I need to say it's definitely not a bad game, uh, and I like it. And definitely I like the graphic style, the cartoony style. Realizing that his victory could not be forced, Ramirez decided to buy it. We only can win uh, through uh, mission board. Um, the other thing is, um, if you're doing skirmish and multiplayer, um, you can set uh, up some goals, um, and you need to uh, do those goals and win those goals uh, in order to win the game. So it's not always um, just going forward and um, conquer the world. It's sometimes um, at other places, but that's gonna be explained later in the game. Um, Princess. Word has it that Ramirez has found a gold mine up north. If he strikes pay dirt, he could build an army and attack us. We must stop him. Are you suggesting we fight again? I believe that to be our only option. So there's no room for politics? War, my lady, is politics. You are beginning to sound like my father. The castle of Ramirez. Daughter of Conradin, turn back. Nothing but loss favorite, will await you here. This land is mine to Ramirez. settle. All right, my lady. To fight Ramirez, this time we need an army. A big army. Unfortunately, I could only contribute a little gold and coal, so you will need to start your own coin production. Look, over there is a sector with a gold and coal mine. If you conquer it, you will be able to produce your own coins. But then again, we need to conquer it as first. First, build up a flourishing economy. It is and the key to success and absolutely necessary if you want to recruit troops. And, have, uh, 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 and to start with, another thing is logistics, yes. Another thing is, uh, we can't build any farm at this place. Uh, we only can build it over here uh, because this is no grassland. So that's a little bit what I'm uh, trying to say last uh, mission. So let's start with, um, we have some fish for food, so we need to do it with um, a hut. So we can build a fisherman. 
Yeah, maybe just doing it this way. It's not that bad, I guess. Placing some sort of path to it, a road. Uh, we need to build some more houses for uh, grow our population. Uh, we're gonna build over here also a warehouse so it's um, all a little bit faster oh can't build the fisherman yet we need to uh, build first our stone and um, stone and wood production so that's a little bit weird um, is it this house by the way it's a different house yeah uh, we need this one Oh, wrong button. So we're gonna do it this way. Building a quarry. Uh, let's place. Yeah, we'll do it after it. Uh, we're gonna put build warehouse over here. Logistics. It's gonna say which one to build first. Oh, they already built it. Okay, that was very fast. And I hope we have enough wood and that sort of stuff. Over here we're gonna place a woodcutter first. And we're gonna build another hut. Please bear in mind that your soldiers need food. Since we do not own any fertile ground for farming yet, That's what and we are saying. soon to be out of bread, I suggest you fish for food. Fish is a great and tasty resource for nourishment. Okay, doing it this way. Go away with all those buttons. Um, yeah, we need to expand. That's what it's saying. Over here we're gonna build a sawmill, fisherman, you're not a fisherman, maybe I was thinking of maybe building another road. Okay, so we have uh, directly away between them, this way. By the way, um, the camera movement is a little bit awkward and not fully smooth. Uh, but yeah, then again, it's a game from 10, 000, uh, 2010, so yeah, it's it's already eight years old. This game, um, at lately, um, if I'm not mistaken, it's even released earlier. But the latest um, DLC and Gold Edition was being released in 2010. Over here you can see the map. Um, this is how you can expand your whole village. There are four men in that camp. It's not a Ramirez, but yeah. And over here you can see directly how they can expand everything. Uh, they also can conquer this zone and now we need to go yeah, can't ride back, and that's how it works a little bit. Um, so we have a fisherman, another fisherman, and a wood uh, sawmill, and two woodcutters. There's not a lot of wood, by the way, but yeah, it is what it is. Let's build another quarry over here, so it's a little bit faster. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, we need to expand with another house. So we do it this way. Splendid! This fish will feed the hungry bellies of our soldiers. Okay. 
So we only can uh, make uh, Pioneers instead of Musketeer. Yeah, now it's full, but that's well why done, we're princess. building in half. Now have the ability to expand your realm with military strength. Now, conquer the sector with the two mines. Once you have control over it, I will show you how to mine. I want one more, yes. Okay, nice. It's on the way. And then uh, we're out of gold, so that's uh, a little bit how it works. So we, now we're gonna expand the sector. We're gonna attack them um, in order to get this green sector and the gold mine and the coal mine. And we can build farms over here. Everything else we're gonna build over here because yeah, this land is way too precious uh, because we need it for our farms. Over here you can, by the way, see that's uh, good for hunting, so that's another thing. Attack them! Almost there. Okay, so we're gonna conquer this camp and this sector around now. That's why it's uh, saying this uh, um, this icon with those four stripes means that our general is over here instead of over here in our castle. So that's why uh, what it's is saying. Um, by the way, of course, if you want to see more of this, please click the like button. Uh, just because um, we're eager to know if you want to see more of this. And yeah, I hope you want to see more of this because I like this game very much. <laughs> so we need to wait a little bit longer. Nice. I guess we're gonna get the cutscene. That's These what I'm talking about. Yours. <laughs> Obviously, Ramirez wasn't happy about that. Now hurry and recruit miners who will fill your storehouses with gold and coal. This is the mine of Ramirez. Ah, damn this princess! How dare she steal those mines? They belong to me! How am I now to pay my soldiers? Ah, oh, this is an outrage, a disaster! Lord Wolverine will not be pleased with my progress! Blah, 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 blah. Awkward. Look out, he's not getting a, getting a stroke or something like that. So, we need to build first. Yes, 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 yes. We have an uh, extended house at this point. Um, this is just a house. It's for four people. This one is for five people. It's a little bit more expensive, but um, as you can see, it has a couple more things like coin um, maker and a weapon uh, armory or something like that, um, a butcher, clothes maker, um, a gem maker, and a book binder. And over here, it's only paper factory, um, bakery, uh, wheel maker, um, smith. And that sort of stuff. By the way, the smith, it's it's a very important thing. 
options. By the way, is it open? Yes, for use. Because you need tools, and the smith is making those tools. Every house you create is using a tool. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, also if you're you're gonna use uh, something else. So if uh, the quarry is gaining some stone, it's using tools. If I'm not mistaken. Um, so that's also a point uh, which you need uh, to look at. So we need a cabin, sort of cabin. Oh, we can uh, rotate it this way. Oh, that's nice. It's a lot nicer. Let's place it this way. That's one. We're gonna place another one over here with the coals, of course. And then we're gonna go it this way. And we can directly go that, that way. So that's nice. After this we're gonna build over here some gold mines, gold workers, gold house, something like that. Gold query. Um, another one. And... Oh! Oh, this is definitely the wrong one. Yes. Remove it. Yes, I've placed the wrong one over there. So, we need to create that one. Call, and another call query. So, okay, now we placed it, we're gonna place... Trying to place it, is it possible? Yes, it is definitely possible to place it in between. So, now we have um, used this space very, very optimal. Um, besides that, we're gonna change it a little bit and we're gonna place over here um, some farms place it directly to it and having a little bit more space so everything is gonna go in this warehouse so that's nice um, And definitely everything of this sector. Uh, another thing I want to do is creating over here a hut. One for a hunter. Oh, it's not possible yet. And that's a little bit too bad. And then one, another one for our woodcutter. And placing again another warehouse. Um, after this, we need for a coin, uh, coin maker, we need this some sort of house. We're gonna place a little bit further. Over here. And we can use this warehouse to do it. So, they only need to transport everything from this warehouse to that warehouse and then they're gonna use it. So that's a little bit how it works. Um, I hope, of course, you get it and uh, understand what I'm talking about. So, they're gonna build it. Um, we need to wait a second for they kind of create everything. By the way, it's very nice that we can zoom in so far. That's that's as I think it's very nice. By the way, I like the style. Everything has also an efficiency. Efficiency. This one is an uh, efficiency of uh, 52. This one of 51, 54, and 51. Um, like this a fisherman, an efficiency of 100%, of course. Woodcutter too, and it is because um, the logistics what you're doing um, 
keeping the wear eyes close, of course, and um, your grain, your uh, uh, mill, getting it close, and that sort of stuff. And yeah, that's is how it works. So we're gonna build one more thing over here. Uh, it's because of this farm. We're gonna build a normal house. Leaving a little bit more space over here for having uh, some grain fields. And we're gonna build a bakery. So this is um, going very well already. Um, only thing is what we need is... No, it's, it's working already. Um, it's taking a little bit more time because they need to transport all those wood from here, as you can see, to this warehouse, if I'm not mistaken, and from this warehouse they're gonna bring it to this warehouse, or next time to this warehouse. So um, everything is about logistics and balancing and yeah, doing it as fast as you can. Um, now it's only missions and it's the early missions, so yeah, it's also a little bit more casual. But if you're playing skirmish or multiplayer or that sort of stuff, yeah, you need to build as fast as you can and expanding as fast as you can. Later in the game they have also another thing is um, um, having some, um, some sort of priest and that sort of stuff and scientists. Um, those can uh, bring down um, some science points to you guys and it's gonna go over here it's not there yet but uh, you can research a couple of things and making your troops stronger your army stronger but also you can research um, some sort of mega point and if you have a couple of those points you also can win the game so everything is um, deciding what to do and how to do it and when to do it it's uh, Mainly a little bit the uh, important thing, what to do. Um, only thing I think is a little bit weird is that we still don't have a hunter. But yeah, it is what it is. So, if I'm not mistaken, they're gonna go creating coins. Yes, he has enough coil. Okay, uh, and you have enough gold and that sort of stuff. Okay, so so leave it. Let's create a couple more of pioneers. Um, as you directly can see, the musketeer is available. Uh, not to create yet, but it is in here. So, um, I guess after a while we can getting some hunters and then we can create some sausages and with those sausages you can create the musketeers so that's a little bit how the Maybe logistics one work mint is not enough speed up your economy by building a second one no he wants me to build the second one so we're gonna place it after it bakery it's having a point um, so there's no, oh, I created two, three grain sheds, oh that's not good, I made a mistake. Yeah, it's going, go, I want to go, to go away, yes, now I finally can expand it. I need to a windmill, I uh, placed the wrong one, a little bit awkward, but yeah. It is, but it is. Uh, we need to expand um, our colony with a little bit more houses. Um, seeing that. So we're gonna place it this way. And one normal. Yeah, let's do it this way. So, 
we have a bigger population. Oh, by the way, if we're creating a um, musketeer or pioneer in this shed, um, it's gonna go directly to the general. Uh, it's walking automatically to it, so that's also nice. Yes, we have our windmill. So that's nice. Let's view this message board. We need six coins. Uh, we need to um, conquire this Deer sector. Oh, it's only three persons. Oh, yeah. Why not go there? Let's go there. Let's attack. We already have eight persons, so that's nice. And uh, I guess over here we're gonna. Yes, I guess we are gonna do it. Uh, we're gonna unlock the hunters and the sausages and, and the musketeers that way, I guess. So, we need to kill those three guys. It hasn't any general. As you directly can see, it's because it's a black camp, it's just, yeah, persons in it and we need to defeat them. So, we lost two guys um, in this fight, but then again, it doesn't matter too much, I guess. As you can see, it's a little bit limited um, how many tiers and how ma many meat there is. Um, but after a while, it's gonna grow back. Um, only or uh, going back the wildlife in it. Only thing is, um, you need to shut down this. We're gonna shut it down now. It's woodcutter because if there isn't wood, the deers are gonna disappear. So leave it where it is for now. We're uh, directly. Uh, Conquire this zone, so that's nice. Maybe we're gonna get a cutscene after conquired it. Yes, I was thinking about it. Now, my lady, prepare for attack. Leaders, we will need musketeers, and musketeers need fancy food. I therefore suggest we hunt animals which can be made into fancy food. You will find plenty of animals to hunt in your mining sector, or in the one adjacent to it. Once you have enough meat to fill the stomachs of your hungry settlers, do not hesitate to enlarge your village and create new living space. Yeah, you can send away um, soldiers, that's what I'm saying. Um, we're gonna do the next thing. Um, building over here a hunter over here we're gonna yes I know information I don't want to see I'm gonna build over here another one I guess we're gonna build it just this way it's good enough so this way another hunter and another hunter and over here we're gonna build um, and our query because just because it's maybe one possible. hunter is not enough speed up your economy by building a second one yes I knew and we need a butcher so we're gonna do it um, two ways I'm gonna do it this way 
butcher and another butcher over here for this hunter. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, another one is uh, building a quarry. That was what I'm in this one. Watch out, there's enough space to place everything. Can't not place it there, so we're gonna place it this way. Okay, and another warehouse, of course, because everything needs a warehouse. Maybe one butcher is not yes, 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 yes. I up know. Your economy by building a second one. I did hear it the first time. Show shed it. So let's wait until we have uh, some of those. Um, maybe bring those two of those and five of those. We don't need that much because there are only four in there. But yeah, I uh, always love to see a very big army instead of a small one. Now we and they're having a, a protection tower over here. That's what uh, it's saying. Um, so we need to first defeat this protection tower, and then we can re uh, defeat the army in you that camp. produced your first fancy food. Fancy food. Now you will be able to recruit musketeers. Who, with their long-range weapons, can attack Ramirez's palisade and help us get rid of him. Yeah, he means this tower. Palisades. Yeah, a couple of palisades. That's what it's is me saying. Okay, um, I'm back in a sack. Um, I'm gonna go to the toilet and then we're gonna go further where we left off. So, back in a sack.
So, I'm back again. Uh, let's continue where we left off. Um, a lot have been built already, so that's nice uh, in the meanwhile. So, uh, yeah, it's nice. It was a uh, waiting time well worthy. So, we have four musketeers at this point. Let's have a look if we, yeah, we we'll want to create one more. So, I guess uh, there's the sausage already. Oh, we need one more coin. Um, so, they need to be creating one more coin. Uh, before we can create another musketeer. Now we have five musketeers. Oh, it's been created. It's saying that's 12 already, but as you can see by the musketeers, uh, the second row, the first icon, you can see plus one. Which means that one musketeer is on its way. Um, so let's have a look at our mission board. Prepare the army. Produce musketeers. Ten. Oh, we need to produce ten of them. Oh, okay. Thought was uh, thought five was enough, but what's this? Oh, stone quarries are done, so we gonna destroy this. So we have a little bit more population directly. That's how it works. Because the stone quarry was. Um, I'll put it. We have three hunters. It's also nice. But it is very limited, so yeah. Another thing is, as you can see, this was this one was on four or five. Um, the hunters can also travel to that place. Uh, you can see directly at this moment. So uh, if it's close enough, it's gonna go to that point. Is he even walking from? Over here. Oh, okay. Yeah, good enough. So you don't need to place them uh, so very closely, but yeah. I always do it that way. Um, I think it's, yeah. Making me sure that we can do it that way. So we need to wait until we have um, those uh, other five musketeers, four to go. Uh, so we're speeding it up a little bit, uh, so that everything is going a little bit faster. There's seven in here, but nothing in here. Why? Oh, it also needs normal food, okay. Also needs normal food. Let's do it another way then. Then we're gonna build a normal house. Nope, a cabin. We're gonna create a cabin over here. Uh, let's change direction a little bit. So we can have normal food over here with fishmen's. Because we're creating, of course, um, some bread, but it's not going that fast as planet. We have enough grain, that's one thing for sure. But flower sacks, um, we don't have a lot of flower sacks yet. So maybe, I'm thinking, maybe. Optimizing a little bit more. And we're gonna place over here another windmill. It 
saying this way because um, it's saying that uh, there's not enough deers, but it's, it isn't right. It's, it's not uh, the right way directly, so leave it where it is. And we're creating a lot of musketeers already. Two more to go. The game speed is on rabbit at this moment. So, speeding up already. This one's created. And we have a warehouse over here. I was thinking about maybe you know creating another warehouse over here. Never can be have enough warehouses. So as you can see, and this one was empty and now it's um, regrowing already. Um, so the deers, uh, the wildlife is automatically respawning, um, but only if there is, of course, a forest and enough forest to it. Because uh, that's why I'm uh, uh, had replaced this woodcutter that was on the other side because he was, um, yeah, removing the whole forest. So this one needs also normal food to uh, produce uh, sausages. So it's take a little bit longer and a little bit more. We have enough meat, but we don't have enough normal food. And that's why the efficiency is so low. This is going a lot faster because, yeah, the normal food is spawning in here. Um, the normal food um, needs to be going from this warehouse to this warehouse. Brought to that one. Uh, so that's why it's, yeah a little bit awkward and not having the great balance that we and efficiency that we needed so um, we're almost there we need one more musketeer before we can attack and after that we're gonna just create two more I guess yes we have created enough musketeers before we can attack. So that's nice. Let's have a look at our logistics. Okay, nothing here. Economy. The normal food. Where is the normal food? Okay, trade, oh, Ramirez uh, has a little bit more food than we have, well mm -hmm. we're doing not that bad I guess. So, the musketeer is over here, if I'm not mistaken, yes it's over here, um, so well, now we can uh, begin the attack, let's do it. Attack the neighbors. Attack Ramirez. They are already coming. So we need to attack this tower first. That's how it works. As you can see, it's going very fast. And it only can be done with uh, musketeers. As you can see, the pioneers are doing nothing at this moment. 
Only at four, one, or five to go. But maybe we're gonna get it. Time. I hope we do. So many animals there. Yes, we won this fight, but now we need to uh, fight against this army. Shall I uh, go close by? Oh, it's a little bit too close. Sorry about that. One more skill, and then we won. Okay, we won the fight. So, all this is now ours. But, I'm thinking um, we already won because we have his castle. Um, the sector doesn't need to be uh, captured. <coughs> so, we won this mission. We are victorious. Definitely victorious! Woo! Um, we only need a little bit more time. Make no mistake, young princess. Although you have defeated me, your victory will be short-lived. Is that your conscience speaking? Or your pride? Neither. But my knowledge of your enemies. You do not stand a chance against the mighty Lord Wolverine or his Dark Knight Dracorian. You're just trying to intimidate me. I am merely trying to warn you. Turn back! Tandria will never be yours! I'm not afraid. But you will be. You will be! So, we won this uh, Fantastic. match. Fantastic. You won the game. We have um, a player's budget. Um, it's for other things I'm gonna show you. Um, use the coins uh, to buy our stuff in game. That's what I'm, was it is saying. Um, I'm not want to continue the campaign. It's a little bit weird that I. No, oh, this is how we can. Um, getting back. So. Let's save the game, and we're gonna back go back to um, the menu. So um, I'm gonna show you a couple more things that's um, in this game. It makes it a little bit more RPG um, than real-time strategy game. Um, next uh, episode, we're gonna play this uh, Novus in uh, um, um, an Uprise. Novus in Uprise. A little bit, uh, I guess, what it's saying. So, we have a lot of coins, as you can see over here. And we can do it, um, we can make changes. So we can uh, make cards. Um, just maps, is it? Saying uh, it's it's uh, it's saying that's uh, it's a, a card, but it's maps. But also we can expand our castle. This is what I've created. Um, it's not default, but you can create um, your own castle. Yeah, it's a little bit weird, but yeah, it is what it is, of course. 
so you can um, placing as you can see directly a couple of things to it we can't place anything over here at this point um, but we can on top of it maybe or isn't it possible no nope, it's not possible Okay, we can go back, thanks. So, we can add some flag to it and uh, you directly can see how it works. Um, I think it's nice enough. So, um, yeah, you can change it, you can place a couple of things to it. It can be placed, why? Can there nothing be placed over here? I think it's very weird. Still, I think it's very weird. No, we can't place everything. Almost can't place nothing. Some sort of, but yeah, okay. It is what it is, of course. As you can see, we can also uh, change this. Um, some kind of reason we can't place anything. I don't know why, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, do the changes. It doesn't matter. Um, oh, we did the achievement, the Ubisoft achievement. Um, I don't know why it's not working uh, properly, but yeah. It is what it is. Over here, this the Ubisoft, um, yeah, sort of shop, but um, we, if I'm not mistaken, uh, bought everything already. Oh, here we have a couple of things we didn't bought. So we can um, uh, buy our large window and a balcony and um, another large window, a gate, even a gate, yes. So that's what you do with those coins in this game. It's making it a little bit more like um, RPG. If I'm not mistaken, this same castle is gonna spawn in your game. So, uh, yeah. This is a little bit how it works. So, I want to thank you guys for watching this um, stream slash video. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed at YouTube or Twitch, please do that. Also, follow us on Facebook, Twitter and our Steam group. And have a look at our website, downdaygaming.com. Um, another thing is if you want to see more of this, please click the like button. Um, I beg you to click the like button. Uh, I, <laughs> I like this game so much. Uh, and I hope uh, you guys uh, like this game too, of course. Um, and if you have any tips or suggestions or uh, you want to share something with us, Please leave it in the comment section on YouTube or on Facebook or open a discussion on our Steam group. Um, yeah, I definitely hope you guys liked it. Uh, another thing is, um, tomorrow we're going to stream, of course, again, and we're going to stream Medieval Engineers. Um, I don't know if it's going to be in the afternoon or um, it will be at the evening. Um, but if it's in the afternoon, it's from half past four until five, and else it will be from half past uh, eight until half past nine. Um, so, I want to thank you guys for watching this stream and this video. Hopefully, you enjoyed it, and see you tomorrow. Bye!